Hello pilots and welcome back to Flight Academy. It's time for season two. This series is brought to you by Out of Art Gaming and as always, my name is Phil. 11 players go head to head in a round robin single ship tournament to find out who is the ace pilot. The format rules are in the description below, but joining me for round four, we have... Hi folks, it's Ben. A pleasure to be on the channel, Phil. Hey Ben, welcome back. We always love having you on the channel to give your insights, um, especially as a previous winner of Flight Academy in season one. Maybe you'll be able to tell us what it's like being on the board, but let's let's run through what we have on the board before we start picking your brains. So, who do we have on the left side? So, Madbox is flying Wedge, Antilles in the X-Wing, and he's got outmaneuver, plasma torpedoes, R4 astromech, shield upgrade, and the standard s foils configuration. I mean, what I would say that's quite a standard Wedge list, especially for the points cost, so a good, solid list there. And going up against Madbots, we have Ed flying Kyle Katan in the Hawk 290 with a trick shot, proximity mines, perceptive co pilot, engine upgrade, stealth device, and as always, the Moldy Crow. Mm. Very interesting matchup. Yeah. The initial thoughts for me would favour Wedge in this with his ridiculous. Ridiculous ability, yeah. but but Kyle does have some tricks in there that could be quite handy. In fact, I think Kyle has the only shot at the moment. Yeah, they're certainly not uh, wasting time. No, uh, and Kyle actually scores a hit on that first shot. So good work yeah. there from Ed. But yeah, some of these games, they get right into it real quick. Obviously, we have reduced the board space down a little bit, which is quite nice. It makes it makes that 20-minute timer not feel as restrictive, I can imagine. But obviously, you're one of our pilots from Season 1 and also for Season 2. So I mean, how do you find this format? Do you, what's Is it a oh, good format? It. Or? Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Um, it's a great breath breath of fresh air from flying normal um, X wing, and it's not so nice to just concentrate on one ship and trying to be really good with that one ship. Um, it's great. We've had some interesting matchups. I think um, we've very rarely, if any, had any of the same. Uh, Correct. So in this one, we have 11 unique pilots. We have two ships that are doubled. We have two Star Vipers and two T-70s, but this time, none of the pilots are the same. In season one, we did two, have two Fen Rao's, but even they were slightly different, one with Daredevil and one with Fearless. So we have, it is mixed up a bit. That's a good shot there from Wedge. Mm. Oh, and, and that's going to crack the stealth device. Yeah. But it's only shields, which isn't so bad there. Uh, avoiding the outmaneuver by having the arc actually pointing at Wedge, which is quite handy. In danger of um, being in proximity mine territory, though. Yeah. And anyone that has been following this can probably remember that Wedge has already seen the business end of a proximity mine in this tournament i mean mines have done really well we've seen some absolute crazy shenanigans with them that's another damage through from wedge there he's, he's, he's plinking away but i'll tell you what that hawk's doing a lot better than i expected against this ship mm. oh no drop of the prox mine yet that does surprise me probably wanting Wedge to be a little bit closer before he drops that, because I think there's quite a nice area to get out there. So maybe maybe we might see a bit of a disengage from Wedge to try and stay safe, I reckon. I do like all the tricks that the um, Hawk can bring to the table. Yeah. I mean, the combination of Moldy Crow and Perceptive Co-Pilot is oh, an that's absolute a good, yeah, winner. That's, that's absolute gold. I mean, and I, I, 
That works really well with stealth device as well. Yeah, because it just allows you extra modifications for defense and attack. Moldy Crow allowed you to save the focus as well. So next round you could be incredibly... Oh, that's close. Oh, I think no. I might click that. That Ooh. yeah, you can see you can see the shake of wedge. He has just landed on there. So that is all locks broken. So there's a positive. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's about where the positives end for Wedge. Yeah, yeah. The only thing is, you, you got to hope he doesn't get ionized because he could just walk straight onto um, some proxy mines. Yeah, and um, we know that Wedges love the ions, so let's see what he rolls. Uh, put it on the table there, please, Mark. And that is that's that's um, ions. Oh, that's not Ouch. good. That is not good at all. And he obviously can't shoot off of that gas cloud either. This gives the, the hawk such a breathing space now. Absolutely, he, he's okay. going to get a, he's going to get a chance to take a free shot at Wedge without being shot back. Dropping that prox mine, which probably won't hit this round, but Wedge isn't going to be able to avoid it the next round because I think it'd be facing right into it. I think he's, he's probably going to go over that gas cloud he, again. Looking at that. Yeah. He might clip it again. Still Got the evader. Yeah. And again, obstacles with the 2.5 rules are rather brutal. Um, I like them. It does promote um, better flying, I think. But they are very brutal, especially if you hit it at just the right angle. And I believe gas, you can't shoot on any obstacles now, so no. including gas crowds. Yeah, you can't shoot off any obstacles. Um, you can do an action if you fully clear the obstacle, um, except the debris cloud, because obviously the debris cloud, you get a stress. So unless you've got something that allows you to take actions when you're stressed. Oh, let's see, does he... Does his token clip it, or does he land on it again? Oh, yeah, I think he's... Oh, so tight He's there. either getting it this round or the next. Well, I mean, he can't avoid it. Yeah. Uh, look, looking at how close, he cannot avoid that. And I think he's on it again. And, yeah, he did, he did go over it again. He is ion. Sorry, Wedge, there is... You're going to be out the other side of that. Ouch. I almost feel... The Hawk has a stop, right? Yes. I almost feel that... Yes. It, he or, would have run... Yeah, just a bank around. Yeah, he would have run the risk of being shot by Wedge there, though, but it would have been really brutal if he'd have managed... If Kyle had stopped and then dropped a second prox. Can you drop two prox mines on top of each other? Would they uh, double trigger? Yes, I believe they would. Because that would be absolutely insane. Two prox mines on top of each other, two auto damages, and then four dice rolls. Oof. That would be so scary. Pray to the dice god for that one. Yeah. I think Madbots is praying to whoever he can at the moment. That's just one more hit, so should... Yeah, he's fine. Great to be there. Yeah. But it's just by the end of this, Madbots must hope to never see Ion or Proxy Mines ever again. And that hawk is just circling, circling its prey. It's so brutal. But you know what? It's really nice when you see a ship that is initiative three doing so well against an initiative six and i know that it's obviously due to madbots's initial approach they're clipping that gas cloud but you still have to be in the right position to take advantage of that and ed really is taking advantage of it right now yeah. and there are the four focuses just in case he didn't have enough there just in case two wasn't enough yeah Oh, I remember the old days when you when you used to um, they used Leave. to keep stacking. 
leave them in a line to show where you'd been. Like yeah, a or, you, or use a dice with a lot of numbers on it. Yeah. I mean, it's probably a good idea that they've actually removed that mechanic, yeah. especially with Carpetan in a normal game, just going, you have a focus. No, you have a focus. Um, yeah, yeah, it prevents a bit of slow play because before you, you could just slow play and just build up loads of focus tokens and then you're good for the rest of the game. And there it is. Wedge is now down to half there from that prox wide, so he avoided one damage at least. And just the one there. Oh, oh no, I think it might have been two actually. The light was shining on the dice. We didn't have enough cameras for the dice cam, unfortunately. Um, but whilst they are just taking their moves, just want to remind you guys, if you do enjoy what we're doing here at Out of Art Gaming, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Again, our top supporters can actually suggest to us a list to fly. And they can be 2.0 or they can be 2.5. We will do our best to get them on the channel for you as soon as possible. Do we see some form of talent here from Wedge? I think that was a really good aggressive three bank in from Ed there. Yeah. Um, anticipating that Wedge is potentially going to turn around. Not the turnaround I was expecting though. Yeah. I, I was more expecting a three talent to ship right. So I think that's probably a good call not to talent there. Yeah. yeah it, it, uh, it would have been very vulnerable without any tokens yeah um, very very vulnerable that that was a really good mover i think yeah just uh, in that range, range three. three bonus uh looks unobstructed unfortunately but hopefully there's not enough there for car to take him out he says and then there's two hits and a focus Uh, oh, okay. I, I'm gonna go back and eat all of my words. There was wow. enough for Carl to take him out. Wow, oh dear. Um, you wouldn't expect that result with that shot. No, I mean, as I said, going into this, I, I thought Wedge was gonna oh, be the third favorite. But yeah, yeah. I, I would have put my money on Wedge there, but it just it just shows you that that one unfortunate incident just yeah. allowed the Hawks to capitalize massively. And Ed got straight in there and really did capitalise on that. So extremely well flown there, Ed. Thoroughly enjoyable. Commiserations, Matt Bots. I mean, keep an eye out for gas clouds. And if they've got prox mines, maybe just fly off the board instead. It might be easier for you. <laughs> um, but Ben, thank you very much for joining us for game one of round four. Uh, you're welcome. And guys, don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Link for the Patreon is in the description below. And we'll be back very shortly for game two. See you next time.